so we are in grade 3 today and grade 3 is very excited to for the friendship right and they said the first sunday of august is a friendship day so we are asking grade 3 do you know about number friends yes, yes. do we know about number friends yes. we just spoke about number friends yes. now i want uh, okay myra and her friend come here and tell us about number friends or what we call it as decimal friendship okay so tell us or yeah tell us what are number friends number friends are those who wants to make 10 together together they want to make 10 okay so let's say you are a number 3 then what would be your number 7 7 so 3 and 7 okay that's good friendship now i would call mhm mm yes you come with your friend yeah which number you want to uh, become <coughs> two so if she becomes two what would be you three eight so two plus eight becomes ten very nice so whenever we have two we will look out for eight that's right yes who is your friend okay so if if we give you number 4 right if you are number 4 then what would be her number number 6 very nice so 4 and 6 becomes the friend okay let's go to this boy is here yes tell me if you are number 1 then what would be your number 9 9 okay very nice So now we have got one. We had three and seven. We had four and six. Then we have two. So if you are two, your friend would be eight. Eight. So two and eight. Can you go on the board and write yes. your number and your friend's number? Yes. Okay. So yeah, just go on the board and write your number and your friend's number in a sequence. they just having fun to write those numbers with their friends we will look at, we look we will look for some pattern okay okay so who will tell us What did you notice? Did you notice something? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yes, so, yes. Naman, come. Tell us what did you notice with these numbers? Two, two, eight, two. Okay. So it is repeating. So two plus eight and eight plus two. Okay. Um. Mm, 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 mm. <coughs> yes. Come. Okay, so that is a repetition again. Yes, come, show. Sure. Okay, so what did you notice? You did you notice something? One, two, three. Hmm. Okay, so they are in opposite order, right? Okay, <coughs> yes. See numbers. The more we observe, the more we understand something about them. Huh? Nine and one. Nine and one. Okay, so that is a special property of addition, also, right? You add nine plus one, or you do one plus nine. It is going to be same. Same applies for multiplication, also. Yes. Hmm. Yes, Angad. Hmm. Very nice. So you see, sit, 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 sit. You see, if we if we learn only these number pairs, our addition will become super fast, right? And once we know addition, once we know number from zero to nine, yes. right? 
addition if you know addition we already know subtraction it is just opposite of addition right and multiplication is just repeated addition correct and division is opposite of multiplication so agar addition aa gaya which means we know maths we know all the operations of maths very nice <laughs> i'll ask you about multiplication also but today since we spoke about friendship and now we know we all know the number friends now yes, yes. so who is the friend of number 3 number 3 ka friend kon hai 7 okay um 0 10 9 8 7 8 Very nice, fantastic. So we all understood the number, friends. Yes. All right. So continuing our friendship, right? We will have frog friendship now, right? We will learn about frog friendship. So the challenge, what I am giving you is because maths is all about logical thinking. So the challenge is this frog A has to reach this part of the pond, and frog F B or the B frog has to come here. now they have only three stones in the middle they can hop right they can hop but they cannot be at the same stone at the same time they both cannot rest on the stone okay so who wants to come and think about it and see how you will be able to solve this okay yes uh, come avni panchal come and uh, yeah so you all can help avni that's not an issue right because you all are friends so we can help it out yeah avni how would we start how jump the first a to okay so f uh, a, okay a is coming there ha huh? very nice okay mm But A is already there. Can B hop there? Okay, yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Ha. Huh? Yes. Very nice. Now they can hop over each other till one stone only, not beyond that. Yes. Yes. Okay, fantastic. So, can we do that for A one and A two? Yes. Yes. Tell me. Yes, come do it. So she is doing it for A one and A two. Uh, I will. I, I want everybody to do it. If there are five stones, then what will happen? Five stones. Five stones are there, right? and we have got two two frogs on each side a can move where will a go yes very nice a can go there okay so now b can very well move right and this place is also vacant with us Yes, fantastic. Okay. So both the A's have reached. Yes, and now it's very simple for B. All right, and you can see now. You can see everybody engaged with five boxes. That's what thinking can do. 
so since the students are still trying it out so all the children who are watching the video and their parents or teachers okay for everyone this is a challenge you have got five stones five pebbles and we have got four frogs fa1 there is this one is empty then you have got fb1 and you have got fb2 now the challenge remains the same f both the fa1 and fa2 needs to go to the other side fb1 and fb2 needs to reach at this end okay the rules are they can hop okay one one pebble or they can hop over another frog so let's say if there is fb1 here okay they can hop over so that is only one uh, this is the possibility and another thing is if at all fa1 is here fa1 cannot go back because fa1 wants to reach on this side of the uh, pond okay so the frogs cannot take reverse hopping that's not possible so try this out and uh, if you have the answers you can put it on the comment